Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy So So, and welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for joining us as always. Make sure you're hitting that like, comment, and subscribe button. And most importantly, hit that notification button so you guys get notified when we drop hits like this. Now, today we got a special guest with us. He's one of the headliners of PFL season coming down here August 16th at the Hollywood Hard Rock and Casino. His name is Michael, the Canadian badass doofer. How are you, my brother? Thanks for joining us. Let's fucking go. I'm good, man. Last training in the bank. I sparred uh, like an hour ago. And man, best firing of the camp. I'm good. Awesome. I'm fucking good. I'm fucking great. I uh, can't wait to. <laughs> You look excited, perform. brother. You look excited, oh, I man. I am. I am. How can't you be? Like, I'm fighting, like, that almost undefeated Dagestanian guy. So, yep. like, all the hype is going to be on that fight. I'm super underdog. I, I like it. Uh, man, I'm pumped. I'm super pumped. Awesome, man. I'm glad that you're pumped because we're pumped to have you on here, man. And we're pumped to see you in action. Real quick, before we start the interview, let the people know where they can find you on social media. Man, pretty simple. Michael do for that MMA. Um, uh, it's on Instagram. Uh, if you want to hit me on X and tw or Twitter or Twix or whatever all you call it, <laughs> uh, Michael do for one. That's it. That's simple. Now, Michael, um, you're fighting out of Montreal, which is I find super cool, man, because I'm going to be up there at the end of the month. Um, oh, me and my yeah? wife are going to be visiting. Yeah, man. So I was like, man, I got to talk to this guy. And after we do the interview, I got to get some spots from him. How's your French? Uh, it's not great. <laughs> my <laughs> wife's French is pretty good, though. <laughs> oh, that's good. But you're going to be like people here in Montreal are super welcoming. And yeah. they speak pretty fluently English. I think in Montreal, people speak most mostly English and French. So you're going to be pretty good. Don't worry. Awesome, man. I'm I'm looking forward to it, man. Um, and I'm sure you're looking forward to representing for the people of Montreal, right? Um, you had an exciting entrance into the PFL, and you just suffered a loss recently, split decision, right? Which was gave you your first loss for the season. Mm -hmm. I want to know, like, what's your mindset coming into this battle? Because even though you are the underdog, you got a lot of you know momentum and energy behind you. Yeah. Um. My last fight, I wasn't like at my best. Uh, either physically, mentally, uh, I, I wasn't at my best. Like that, I was number one in the ranking, and I knew I didn't like absolutely needed that win. I would probably be in even without the win. So I don't know plays in my head with my head, but when mm. it's all or nothing, when it's all in, when 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 I'm all in, that's when I perform the best and. Right now it's all in, win or go home. So right now the the the, the feeling of urgency, I feel it, and that that that's not the same Michael Dufort that you're going to see in in that fight or on, against Rabadanov. I'm at my best when I want to finish those guys, when I take risk, and that's what you're going to see a fucking aggressive guy. Uh, like you see in my first fight uh, with with the PFL, I was aggressive. I was everywhere. Uh, like I throw like through two hundred punch in the first round. So that that aggressivity you're going to see the 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 the, the fun fighter you're going to see. So do you think that you know now that you're you've been able to experience that mental battle right and being on that side of being the a side of the fighter having the the, the momentum behind you having the favoritism behind you now that you've got to experience that do you think that that's going to be the difference in this in this fight because he's going to have to deal with that pressure and you know what that's like uh i i think he's in he feels untouchable right now you feel at his best he's on a super nice streak but man this guy haven't fought someone like me for a while uh i'm in my prime right now um uh, i'm going to be dangerous and he doesn't know what it is to be stuck in a cage with me uh mm. he's going to have problem dealing with the the, the pressure and that's it. I'm a pressure fighter, and I, I'm going to 
I want him to feel it. And you're also known as a finisher, man, because you you have some explosive hands. You're able to knock out people, and and he has to account for that. Now, Please. you represent the the city of Montreal. You were recently recognized by George St. Pierre. Um, him and the PFL did a good job of capturing that moment in your gym where you guys were able to kind of talk, and, and he was able to give you a few pointers. I'm sure he gave you a, a couple of secrets there. Um, I have a two-part question for you. Number one, how does it feel to be recognized by GSP, right, as the next guy for Canada in MMA? And uh, what does having George come to your training camp mean for you in this fight? Oh, it means a lot. It's it's it is it means something to be recognized by. I would say one of the greatest, but to me, he is the greatest. Yeah, uh, the question sure. is is I guess there there's a couple of names that can be picked up, but for me, he's the greatest. And to be recognized by this guy, just give a little bump, the little something, the little plus as a fighter that you need sometime to really perform at your best. And right now, like having George, having Olivier Aubin Mercier, like the, the my team, every everybody's like in the same mood. We're all seeing the fight the same way. We know like we know what he's going to do. Like we, we talk about it. Like he's a he trains with Habib. He's a Dagestanian. Like Train with one of the goats. I train with their goats. So <laughs> we'll see. We'll see who who learns the best. Who learn, learns the most from? For sure. From and, but you know what, Michael? Like that's a great point, right? Because GSP, he, you know, all due respect to, um, you know, Dagavag and his camp and and everything that he's he's training with Khabib. Um, but GSP is just very multifaceted, right? He's not necessarily just a wrestler. He's really good in jujitsu, really good um, in, in wrestling, really good in striking, really good in all the aspects that are needed, not only to mm -hmm. win fights, but to make fights exciting. Um, yeah. Is that something that you carry in your bag, just um, having that, that, that tool bag with all three of those disciplines in it where you can say, you know what, I need to knock this guy out. I'm going to rely on my power. I need some jujitsu. Let's go use the black brown belt, right? Um, how does that feel and, and, and how you use those tools to for you this next fight? Because it's going to be a big one. First, yeah, I'm a black belt in BJJ. Um, Look at that. But yeah, man, I feel like comfortable on every aspect of the sport. Like like George St. Pierre was in his prime. Like he, he could end all fight uh, on the feet. He could, he could end all fight like uh, on the ground. He could bring fight to the ground. He could like Stop takedown, and that that's how I feel right now. I feel I, I'm at my best. I can stop takedowns if, uh, when, when they're coming. I can create takedowns, so I bring the fight. The, the fight will be wherever I want. That's the plan. Uh, I have a better reach than him, so I'm controlling the distance. And if I want to go to the ground, that's 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 my pain and butter. That I, my, my bread and butter. I'm I'm good at this. I, like, look at my record. You, you'll see all those finishes on the ground. So when yep. I got opportunities, first, I create my opportunities. And second, I take them. and I, I make you pay. Yeah, and he has to be careful, right? Because there's only one point that separates you guys right now in the division. Um, mm -hmm. You know, the tournament is very much reachable for everybody. And I think that if we're talking about who has more pressure going into the fight, it's definitely on him, right? Because he can't afford to lose to you and, and you have every single right to feel super confident in going in there and being able to beat a guy like him. Um, mm -hmm. I want to keep it fun a little bit uh, before the, the fight, the interview is over. I always ask my fighters two questions, right? What type of entrance are you going to use and what type of music are you going to walk into? Uh, I'm going to walk into uh, Bob Sennett, La Balade des Malades. It's a French Canadian country. Um, like I like it. My opponents like it. Like it's very funny as a the funny song, and people like it. Gives a good spirit, and that's how I'm going into that fight. Like with good spirit, and I'm going to have fun and do what I do best, and that's that's winning fight. And finishing him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Michael, we're so excited to watch you perform Friday night, August 16th at the Hollywood Hard Rock and Casino. 
going to be a packed house. Um, I'm not sure if you've ever fought there, but me and my partner, we've been there a couple of times to catch up for some fights, and it's going to be loud and rocking, and I'm sure you guys are going to live up to that. I like it. I like it. I like a big crowd, and I like to be underdog, so it's going to be a good night. Well, we'll be definitely rooting for you on this side, brother. One more chance. Give the people uh, a chance to follow you on, on social media. Go follow me on Instagram. Like you can see right there, Michael MMA. Let's follow this guy. Uh, pretty simple, but pretty, pretty cool guy. A real contender in the lightweight division here in the PFL. Michael, thank you so much for joining us. That's the Canadian badass. He's fighting I August mean. 16th at the Hollywood Hard Rock and Casino. Make sure you guys get your tickets now. Don't wait. Watch this. Let a friend know. You guys know what to do. Hit the like button. Hit the comment button. And more importantly, hit the notification button so you guys get notified when we drop hits like this. It's your boy, So. Peace.